Yo, what's good? It's Young Specs, and you're listening to The Rodriguez Show. And we are back on The Rodriguez Show here on Hit 101 Radio. Uh, Haley Wilde just killed it. She came through. Uh, check out her radio show. But not, I mean, if you do, you'd be not listening to us right now. So I don't know. Make the choice. <laughs> uh, we have a second guest today uh, returning after a year uh, oh. with shout out. Mellow thing is here, hey, too. Hello. Cannon Bell, how's it going, man? It's good. He's a chilling, man. I'm doing well. How are you? Good. It's been, uh, you were here like eight, March, April of 2019. Yeah, it was right? almost a full year, so yeah. good to check <laughs> back in with my folk. Exactly, man. You Thank know? you for uh, driving out, and uh, you've had a really good 2019, right? How, I think go? so. I'm, uh, I'm glad to hear you say that. Happy to hear you say that. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was a great year, man. I felt very uh, fortunate in the amount of work I was able to put out. Mm -hmm. Um and I think it was a fruitful work, uh, fruitful season for me, just creatively, like in outside of music capacity, you know. So it was a um, a, a good season of growth. But looking to twenty twenty to kind of capitalize on like the foundation we laid, I guess. Yeah, yeah. and and it was you were dropping some great singles. Uh, the most recent one being Sugar. Thank you, man. Uh, how did that? How, how did you come up with that concept? Because it's something that we can all relate to, right? For sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, just being that, you know, it's. Um, I grew up in a household where I was somewhat deprived of sugar, you know, at times, uh, okay. but but it would still be present. So yeah. I kind of there was like a a contradiction there, you know. It's like it's here, but I'm not supposed to have it, you mm -hmm. know. So there was always this like struggle, if, you know. And then once you get a taste of it, it's almost like those uh, internet footage of the kids when they first taste the coke, and they're like, yeah. you know, they try to take the parents try to take the cup away and the kid is just like no like give me that you know <laughs> so it's like an innate human desire i guess yeah. you know um so just kind of trying to like uh touch a little bit on that subject and um it's just seeing how it's impacted communities at large you know yeah like, in, like, in my own household and just just uh lifestyle so yeah. i was trying to reflect on those things yeah it's, it's one of those things where it's like the this idea of like how we're obsessed with getting sugar yes is is like so prominent in our system of life that sure. we don't even realize like how sugar plays such a big role in everything it's you know? true man and like you try to avoid it you eat the foods that specifically say you know sugar free but you know if it's a fruit juice there's sugar natural sugars there you know yeah. like people are looking for the code words you know high fructose corn syrup or whatnot you know and, and it's great to at least be health conscious but it's almost inevitable you know yeah. it's, it's part of our diet it's so everywhere it's, <laughs> yeah it's just about limiting it and trying to you know be mindful of choices i guess yeah. so kind of just trying to pivot off that concept and uh, mm -hmm. uh essentially i think the track was was inspired the, the name of the drum kit that i used was the sugar kit uh, so okay. the, it, it, it the track was named sugar and i kind of just took that idea conceptually further mm -hmm. than you know That's maybe some might. so <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, so you released the video for High, which is one of the songs you did on the show the last time you were here. It was right. really good. Thank you, family. Uh, yeah, you've done a lot of videos. Uh, what? How do you come up with this concept? How did, how did this come about? With that particular clip, um, I work with Cut Step Flow, my dude Anthony Sylvester, and we spent, you know, the better course of like uh, several months, you know, four or five months uh, breaking down different um symbolism or imagery i guess like how, what whatever spoke to him uh as far as it within the lyrics like as he's interpreting it he kind of explained the the visuals that the music gave him and the lyrics gave him and i kind of tried to you know bounce those ideas back off him and kind of mm -hmm. just again conceptualizing how can we help to tell the story better um and, and, and in a visual visual way but i i definitely leaned on his talents and uh we spent a lot of time but proud of the finished product for sure yeah it was, it's such a trip man so one of the questions was that from watching the video is yeah did you really like have to be in your underwear on the street yeah that was, that was like that risky, was you know <laughs> yeah no and that was something that i wrote into the original treatment just because you know i really wanted to touch uh to test boundaries or to push envelopes in a sense not not just for the sense of doing it but for my own personal growth yeah i spent so much time putting out videos before where i was not really eager to have even my face in it prominently you know mm -hmm. like um just for the sense of trying to I don't know if it was an intentional establishment of this mysteriousness or this like you know intrigue or something, but um, uh, it didn't really work out because people are like, well, who's the artist? Like we haven't seen yeah. his face. This doesn't make sense, you know. So yeah, because you have an album cover where you're facing away from from the picture and so. even that if people are like we're in such like a media rich culture and image rich you know we're all sharing images at high rates you know and but i'm also trying to even though i'm sharing a lot of my personal life and story in my music still try to keep uh not that i you know there's not that many people checking for me to be honest you know but i yeah. want there to be like a balance where i can not like totally feel self-absorbed or something yeah. so it's like almost like a balance for me to kind of just keep 
elements more creative rather than literal or something yeah. you know so it's almost like think about why i'm facing the wrong way rather than to just see my face and that be the end of it or something you know it's it, yeah it's a little it's, it's, it makes it a little more interesting i think so yeah. and i and i hope that it doesn't make things confusing or make it seem like a pretentious thing like you know but uh it and it's not as well thought out as i may be able to articulate in this interview is a great question but yeah. um yeah i definitely am trying to add more of myself into it so for the reason of being on the street like that i'm like yeah let's just shoot it like it's yeah. not that crazy um I had a robe on and, and as soon as it was ready to cut you know my photographers across the street were waiting for the traffic so I, there were several shots that didn't make the final cut so I had to disrobe a few times so oh. <laughs> yeah it was yeah. um it, it was, it was a good shot though I think that it was worth the the doing all that cool yeah the, the transition was really cool I love that man yeah. thank you for noticing so you dropped a lot of uh, great singles in 2019 like I mentioned before uh, you, what it, what is the uh, you don't have to reveal your entire master plan mm -hmm. but are you leading to a project or more singles this yeah year? I mean Melo and I were discussing this outside you know obviously he helped you know record and mix down this record so uh, happy to have him here but um, just in discussing like the out like the future plan for it it was to drop a bunch of singles and at the end you know have some sort of collection um, yeah. and, and maybe have a incentive of a couple other pieces added to that puzzle that weren't released yet so yeah. um i have another record that one of the tracks will play today that features my father yeah. and we'll be dropping that like next month i'll probably put out towards the end like nice. to correlate with the south by play so february yeah. march um you're and gonna go to you're gonna be i'll south be in by south by yeah there's a couple of events i'll be out there actually uh playing a gig with camp low yeah. um doing cool. something with them and like an event at uh, south congress hotel as well so with some friends of mine like a uh, uh, retail branding type of experience if you will so uh, nice. but looking forward to that and just going to try to put a package together that i can kind of roll out in correlation with being out there so yeah. ep will probably drop towards the end of march and the single uh maybe one of the lead single title single if you will you know yeah. the um the one that features the pops will come out before then so in the next nice. month check for that Oh, so we're really close to, to the yeah, entire I think release. Yeah, very soon. Yeah, I think I, there's a couple other projects that I'm working on for this year. So I want to drop something in the next couple months um, yeah. that includes these singles with another couple pieces and then have the other stuff that's in the queue ready for the summertime and just move forward, you know, just not yeah. get hung up by uh, release schedules or plans, you know, just put the music out. Tomorrow's not promised. So yeah. I don't want to be too caught up with planning, you know. Yeah. That's tight, man. And and like we said, Mellow Thing's been here chilling in the studio with us. Uh, can you tell us again how, how you guys came together? Uh, uh, Mellow and I go back, you know, uh, he's been involved with, with a bunch of different outfits, different mm -hmm. uh, musical, you know, collectives, if you will. And um, the previous one that he was in, we, we were label mates. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we had the good pleasure. Like, I watched them grow and kind of, you know, like forming their opinions and, and, and savvy, essentially, as far as the music business is, con is concerned. So, it's been cool to connect with him like now yeah. in this season and obviously he's come back around done a bunch of things since yeah you did the how remix it was, that, was, that was the one you were here last time for yeah him. no it was cool to connect on that obviously because i do respect the man's uh you know creative skills but yeah, yeah no a lot of a lot of planning and, and just discussions about like plotting and strategizing so i appreciate yeah. that but that's, that's the homie man. yeah uh so you you're gonna perform together in a little bit uh yep. is the plan to perform together more often or is this gonna be you know we've discussed it um we've done stuff in the past you know as i you know previously had the whole live band uh presentation so i'd often be rotating out musicians and you know i was fortunate to have mellow sitting back then um but now with the stripped down performance i know last time i did like the dj thing but yeah. I, we've been talking about if i do continue to do like the solo setup and <laughs> add a couple you know a couple accompanying musicians to just fill out the the, the, the stage i guess yeah. but yeah i think that the, he, he would be my first choice so <laughs> definitely sure. this is kind of like a test run but it, yeah. it's, it's been sounding good so far so that's tight man. looking forward to grow for sure building yeah and, and something that that both you guys you guys have been around yeah making music for a while hmm. but how do you evolve or how do you stay current hmm as somebody that's been doing it for a while um i think i think uh, for, for speaking for myself you know i've been fortunate that i've always been eager to not necessarily find a new sound but um challenge myself to not create something that sounds like the last thing i made yeah. so in that pursuit is kind of helped to not really be so much focused on those trends but in a nutshell i'm naturally absorbing things that are happening in the current you know atmosphere or whatnot yeah. but um it, it definitely feels like with just experience and maybe the technical savvy that comes from years of making music you know you kind of can adapt to different soundscapes if the if the drums are hitting differently now you know we can figure out how to eq them to to make them more current 
Yeah. Um, so it's kind of just like a little bit of repackaging, maybe, if you will, yeah. you know, like somewhat. Mm-hmm. But I think that our sound, maybe I, I for me personally, I think that uh, audiences may be caught up and in, in the general public is now more accepting to the type of music that I've been doing. So yeah. it's easier for me to have them. Uh, you know appreciate it or recognize yeah. it or something because you know? it's a very unique style and and, and some Thank people you. like they won't might understand it but now because of so many styles that are successful you're yes you're you're seeing like it you know you know what i mean <laughs> yeah of course no there's so it's, 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 it's alternative and as diverse i think like the alternative hip-hop uh sphere is yeah. as diverse as it's been since the golden era yeah. where people were always like ah oh, rap is not like it was back then i feel like it's as varying as it's ever been you know that you, you look across even with the top artists whether or not sonically there might be some similarities beats really have only certain things that can happen you know for the yeah. time period but i think just with how people are approaching their art it is a very exciting time for hip-hop yeah. very much so and then we're excited to have you here as one of the people that's making hip-hop Yo, exciting today word up. uh so before you uh, do your thing with mellow thing we're gonna have you do 60 seconds with so the last time you said you Man. didn't you you didn't like what, how you answered the questions? Well, there was just, I, I don't think, I, I think I failed. You know, <laughs> I think the concept was to answer these. And Quickly. This, yeah, and I, I might have answered three out of your, uh, shoot, you didn't even get to as many as you had. <laughs> so okay. I felt like I didn't do what I needed to. It's all right. We'll try it again it today. Yeah. Uh, you have the your camera ready? All right. You ready for this? Yeah, please. All right. So there's 60 seconds with, and I'm going to go now. Favorite comic book character? Comic book, yeah. Black Plant Panther. Uh, favorite song right now? Song right now, The Box. Oh, nice. Yeah, mine, mine too. One word to describe you in high school. High school, clever. Do you have a hidden talent? Um, Hacky Sack. Oh, nice. Uh, least favorite song? Least favorite say. song out right now, whatever Taylor Swift is doing. Oh, shit. Uh, first name of your first crush? First crush, uh, Shannon Comer. Oh, last name too. Most people just remember the first name. Oh, I remember everything. <laughs> first CD you ever bought? CD bought, maybe Quality, Talib Quali. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, first song you illegally downloaded, do you ever Illegally, do? like a Roy Sop remix or something probably, DJ yeah. Spiller, something. Nice. Uh, favorite non-hip-hop genre? That was from last uh, time. Jazz. Yeah. Jazz is hip-hop though. Early 2000s hip-hop or early 90s hip-hop? Um, I'm middle aught, so Ken and Bell era. Yeah. <laughs> Spotify, Apple Music, or title? Vinyl. <laughs> oh, I don't know. And they all, they all give me point oh 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 eight cents per song. So <laughs> it's all about to say, but. It's, they're all they're all like a, um, just messing with your money. Pretty anyway, much, so. but, but they're also <laughs> p- p- provided a platform. So yeah. And that equally. was it. Yeah. Uh, it was 60 seconds with Ken and Bell. Cool. It actually ended when you said vinyl, but I played the clap instead. All right, that's okay. <laughs> hey, we, we, I made it. I answered you more clapped. than two questions. So, that's uh, success. Thank you for coming through. And we're going to have you set up and we're going to have Mon to do a couple of tracks. But we'll be back with Ken and Bell and Mellow Thing doing a special performance on The Rodriguez Show. Let's get it. Dope. The Rodriguez Show. All right, guys.